Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa and this is Wet Paint Contemporary. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial using some of the BB Crafts uh, supplies that I got. So this video is sponsored again by BB Crafts. I'm going to be using this beautiful punch here to do borders on some paper crafts. Okay, so let's get started. Hey guys, so this is the paper punch again. It's this beautiful, uh, it's a wisteria uh, border punch, okay? And here is the little pattern in the back there. So this is really, really beautiful, very heavy. It's really great quality. And this is what I did so far. So I already tried it. I'm just putting on this red paper here so you can actually see the border here, but I'm going to just raise it up a little bit here. See how beautiful that is? If you could see that. Yeah, so that is really, really pretty and it adds just a delicate touch to your paper crafts. Okay, so what I'm going to do is right now, so we're going to make a little card here. And this is Maggie Holmes paper. This is my first uh, Maggie Holmes paper. And I will show you everything I got. Um, I have a whole video coming up. But this is Maggie Holmes Flourish. And I had supported another YouTuber. As you can see, I use it some already. Um, she had a little store. Uh, the channel is uh, Evelyn Creativa. And she has a really cool uh, shop. Uh, and you can get the link on her channel. But yeah, I'm going to show that to you in another um, video. But this is Maggie Holmes Flourish Paper. Okay, so I already did all three sides. So I'm just going to do the last side here. And then I have my scissor here, just in case. All right. So I, what I like is it has a, um, a guide here. So I'm going to put this on the table. Alrighty, and we're going to get to punch in. Okay, beautiful. So I'm just going to cut that little part off at the end. And you have to line it up. I'm kind of new at this, so um, yeah, that's good. Beautiful. And you line it up as best as you can, as best as I can. Great. And then the last little part. Okay. Sorry if the camera is shaking a little bit. All right. So that's the little ends there. And then what I just do is, there you go. Hold on. That's it. And this little part here. Perfect. So we can make a very simple card. Now usually I do my cards a little different. I like to double up the paper, but for this the sake, because um, I want the border to really show, I'm not gonna like fold it twice. Whoops, usually, sorry about that. Usually I'll fold it up this way and then over again that way. But today I want to leave the border so you can really see it. So we're just going to Make sure it's even and we're going to fold it just right in half. Okay. And then what I usually do is I, I know some people have like these um, to make creases and stuff like a, a, it looks like a piece of bone or something like that. Um, I take my nail and I do that to make a very sharp crease there. Okay. And then sometimes I will take the edge of my scissor and just do that. There basically you have a cute little card and you could see 
the border inside the card as well. It's really beautiful. Okay. And then, let's move that out of the way. I got these stickers from the Dollar Tree. So then you can just start, you know, embellishing the inside of your card, the outside of your card. These are so beautiful. From I can't believe it. I went to a different Dollar Tree. So let's, these are um, little perfume bottles. So let's just take a sticker. And then you could just start embellishing your card as you like. And then I cut these pieces out. So this could be for like a sentiment. You can glue it down. You could put it here. You could put it up there. I cut this out as well. Well, this is a little too big. But you get the idea. You can make your card as you want. You could put the little embellishment right here, okay, like that. And, you know, that's how you can make a card. Um, I also brought out some adhesives you can use. I have this, what is this, Tombow glue. I really like this glue. I got these at the Dollar Tree. These are Pop Dot adhesives. Um, what is this called? This is like red line tape you can use. And then you can use, I love these. I got these at the Dollar Tree as well. You can use little glue dots. So I will be right back. I want to just uh, do um, a little more to this card. And I will be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. So what I did was I used this beautiful punch. And I just punched a border all around the, what the heck is this, a peacock, whatever, <laughs> whatever this bird is, it's, but it's beautiful. Um, yeah, so I did all around the border here. I put a couple of glue dots, and what I did was I put the little area where you could put the sentiment here, next to this beautiful little perfume bottle. This is already done, and now we're just gonna stick down the little birdie. And speaking of a little birdie, I ordered for them for the first time because you guys in the crafting world keep on talking about little birdie. Um, this needs a little glue here. And that's it. And you can add, you know, um, I have a lot of little gems and glitters, but this is very delicate, very beautiful, and I am really enjoying using this beautiful border. I have those scissors that could also make uh, very pretty um, textures and patterns along the edge, but I really like the punches because it just adds a beautiful, delicate uh, touch to this card. And that is it, guys. So I love the punch. I'm going to really enjoy using it. Thank you again to BB Craft for sponsoring this video and I am really enjoying using all of their uh, products so far. I'm really happy and I'll probably put add more to the front of the card as well but this is just a very simple card you can make using the uh, border punch. All right guys thank you so so much for watching today. Um, I will put all their links below in the description um, with their YouTube program will be in the description, their website, and also the link to this beautiful border punch will be in the description below again. So thank you so much for watching today and I will see you in the next one. Bye.